Crown Royal makes a lot of popular stuff in addition to their regular Crown whiskey. You've got all kinds of flavored whiskeys. Have you ever had any of these? Do you like them? Well, I've had some, but not all. Stick around and find out what I'm going to do with them today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Speakeasy. Today we are doing a Crown Royal tasting. Not just Crown Royal tasting of their different flavors, but I'm also going to make a few cocktails. Each one of these um, is around the $30 mark, depending on where you buy it. Four of them I got for $29 and one I got for $30. That was the Blackberry one, but I bought that at a different store. So that's your price point. They're all, I think, 80 proof, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 70. Peach is 70. 70. I might have been wrong, so these are probably all 70. 70. And I know 70. Okay. So I've got, as far as I know, the five different flavors of Crown Royal. Apple, peach, blackberry, vanilla, and salted caramel. There are multiple different recipes you can do with these. Just There are hundreds out there probably. I'm going to show you two of each, and they're all very common ingredients, and I'm going to compare them, see if I like them. Um, first off, only one of these would I, would I sip on the rocks, and that is salted caramel. I love salted caramel crown. Now, I could just, like I said, sip this directly on the rocks, nice and cold. I love salted caramel ice cream. It, if it's salted caramel, I'm down for it. So, I don't know that I would sip any of these others directly on the rocks. Just not my type of thing. But mixed, that may be a different story. So, let's get started. Okay, the first cocktail we're going to do today is we're going to use the crown apple. And we're just going to take our highball glass, fill it with ice. Now you could use an, a, a big ball of ice or you could use crust ice. I, I try to use the not the smallest, not the biggest. I try to go for a middle uh, sized ice. Uh, these little squares are what my ice machine makes. So that's what we're working with today. So anyhow, we're going to start out with an ounce and a half to two ounces of crown apple. I'm going to go for two ounces. I always like a little more whiskey in my drinks. So two ounces of crown apple. Me and that other jigger are just knocking it over all the time. And then four to six ounces of 7-Up, Sprite, whatever you have. I just say, top it off. So there you go. There's your Crown, Apple, and Sprite. Now, a lot of people like a 7-7, seven and seven, Seagram 7. Now, this is a Crown and 7. Grab us a little stir stick here. Let's go for a green one since this is Apple. Now, you could, if you wanted to get a little bit fancy, you could just slice up a red apple, a green apple. Slice them up real thin and drop them in here for presentation. Hang them on the edge. I'm at home. This is how I drink it. Wow, that's way better than I expected. The, uh, the citrus of the 7-Up or Sprite goes very well with that green apple. Impressive. All right, what's the next one here? Clean up my mess. Step number two. All right, so the next one we're going to have is a crown apple and cranberry. Again, eyeball glass filled with ice. We're going to take our two ounces again of crown apple. Again, to taste, if you like an ounce and a half, do an ounce and a half. I, like, I prefer two ounces, like I said. 
and then cranberry juice. Same thing. We're just going to top this off four to six ounces. Give it a quick stir and you could drop some cranberries, some fresh cranberries in here. Again, slices of apple, however you want to dress it up. Hmm. I like that, but I like Apple and 7-Up or Sprite a lot better. I think out of these two, I would probably definitely rank this one higher. On a 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one a 7 and that one an eight, eight and a half, just because I like the apple and citrus flavor better. The cranberry um, is, maybe I got too much cranberry in it. That's a good way to check. Just seems a little strong on the cranberry for me. Not bad though, not bad at all. All right. <clears throat> Coming on the next one. What's next? Going to move on to Crown Royal Peach. Now again, I wouldn't want to drink Crown Royal Peach on the rocks. Just going to be probably a little too much cough syrup for me. And I would probably say that about all of them. Vanilla, maybe not. This again, the Salty Caramel, I'll drink that on the rocks any day. Love it, love it, love it. All right, Crown Royal Peach. Ice in the floor. And we're going to go with some tea with this one. So I don't see how you could go wrong with this one because we're just going to have basically peach tea. So two ounces of your peach. And then some freshly brewed tea or fresh store-bought tea, however you want to do it. This is way easier than uh, brewing tea. So I just have the store-bought stuff. And again, top it off to taste, depending on how much. You Now you could do sweet tea. This is unsweet tea. If you want it really sweet, I'm betting that this peach um, crown probably has enough sweetness to it that you don't need sweet tea. If you're really, really into sweet tea, a Bellini type thing, you would probably want a sweet tea. It definitely smells peachy. That's good. Again, it's not, it's not too sweet. You can definitely taste the peach crown. Definitely don't need sweet tea. If you use sweet tea, if you're from the South, probably go with sweet tea because that sweet peach and the sweet tea together is going to be very, very sweet. Some people, it's just going to be way too much. To me, this is a good middle ground. The sweetness from the crown, the plain unsweet tea, that goes very well together. I like it. Now, if you wanted to dress this one up, you could take some peaches, slice peaches up, drop that in there, um, mint sprig or something. Uh, again, it's most of us sitting at home, we're just going to drink it just like this. You want to impress your friends, buy a little extra fruit for each one of these and slice them up. Not bad overall. All right. And next, we're going to have... A Crown Royal Peach Lemonade. All right, so it ought to make sense that instead of tea, this time we're going to have lemonade. 
Same thing, store-bought lemonade, unless you like making your own. I'm going to go with two ounces of peach crown. And then we're going to top it off with lemonade. Now, I don't know that I, I mean, you can buy peach lemonade. I wouldn't recommend buying peach lemonade. Just plain lemonade. Top it off. If you like a more of a strong peach flavor, then maybe that's something you could get, you could do buying a peach lemonade. But I wouldn't. I'd stick it with it just like this. All right. Peach lemonade. Now, I'm somebody that I really like lemonade. And right now, to me, even though I put two ounces of peach in that, I just get a hint of peach. The lemonade is kind of overpowering the peach. Um, that, that could be dangerous. Right now, for me, I'm going to rank that out of the last four. That's number one. Love the peach. Love the lemonade together. I would probably go with a little extra peach crown just because I want to taste just a little bit more peach, maybe two and a half ounces, two and three quarters, maybe three, but I would probably go with two and a half. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, the next one is going to be blackberry. Can't have blackberry. Now this thing I have heard has just gone crazy, crazy popular. Um, in Oklahoma, central Oklahoma, where I'm at, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, once you look for it, in places that I've found it, have had six, seven, eight bottles of it on the shelf at any given time. So, pretty easy around here. And then, of course, the drink of the day with blackberry, blackberry lemonade. So, we're going to go with Two ounces of Blackberry Crown. And top it off with our lemonade. Even have us a purple stir stick. Oh, I can smell the blackberry. Not real strong, though. Kind of like the, uh, the peach lemonade. Might need a little more. Maybe not. That's pretty good right there. Um... As good as that is, right now, I'm still leaning toward the, uh, the peach lemonade. That is good. Um, and that has to do, obviously, with the blackberry. Uh, but I still think the, the peach right now is coming out on top. I'm going to have to test them all again. All right. On to the next one. This one's going to be a blackberry cobbler cocktail. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. I tell you, I love cobbler. And when I saw this one, I just went crazy because if this tastes anything like black, blackberry cobbler, wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Now, what this says is you can use some uh, graham cracker crumbs to rim your glass with. I'm not going to do that, but that would add a fantastic touch. If you want to crush up some graham cracker crumbs, put them in a blender. Get them real fine and put that around the top of your glass like you would a margarita salt. That would be really good. But what we're going to do, we are going to add some ice to our shaker glass. And then we're going to put in two ounces of blackberry. Again, one and a half to two ounces. Your preference. So two ounces of blackberry crown. One ounce of rum chata. 
Oh, guess I hadn't opened that one. Come on. Get off there. You can do it. Goodness. All right. One ounce of rum chata. And then we're going to have a half ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then one quarter to one half teaspoon of honey. So we're going to take our honey. We'll just give it a good squeeze because it's a teaspoon. And now we're going to shake this up for a good 20 seconds. Get it nice and chilled. Yeah, buddy, look how cold that is. Take our glass, fill it with ice. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. And then strain it over the ice into the glass. Wow, that does taste like blackberry cobbler. That's crazy. Hmm. If you like mudslides or white Russians, um, I think you'll like this. Especially if you like blackberry cobbler, obviously you'll like this. That that has a really really good flavor. Not too strong on the blackberry. The uh, the rum chata gives it a great cobbler flavor uh, because of the lemon juice. I think. Yeah, I like that one. All right. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Crown Vanilla. Obviously, Crown and Coke. Who can pass up a Crown and Coke? And Coca-Cola already has some vanilla flavor to it, caramel flavor. So let's just go with Crown Vanilla and Coke. Ooh, that smells sweet. So, two ounces of Crown. Vanilla. Top it off with Coke. Give it a quick stir. I don't see how this could be bad at all. Oh yeah. Nothing wrong with that. If you like Crown, you like Coke, and you like Crown and Coke, you're probably going to love Crown Vanilla and Coke, um, especially if you like Vanilla Coke, a cola. Now, if you wanted a double shot, you could get you a Vanilla Coke and then add more vanilla to it, but I think that'd be overdoing it. Mmm. That one's getting up there towards the top. Mmm. And I got another contender for number one. I just, I love a good vanilla Coke. That's why. All right. Now the other one's going to be a vanilla Coke, not a vanilla Coke, Crown Vanilla. It's going to be a, a vanilla cream soda. Now you say, are you going to put this in cream soda? No, I'm not. Although that might be good. This is going to be two ounces of Crown Vanilla. And orange soda. And I'll tell you what though, I love cream soda as a 
its own co its own cola, its own soda, depending on what part of the country you're from. Reminds me of a joke. If you're from the South, and uh, somebody says, "Hey, you want to go get a Coke?" Sure. Okay. What flavor you want? In other words, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, Seven Up, Coke, Pepsi. A lot of people call them Cokes. A lot of people call them Pops. A lot of people call them sodas. A lot of people call them colas. All depends what part of the country you're from. Ooh. Mmm. Vanilla orange cream soda. Wow, folks. That one's good. I love orange soda. I love cream soda. I love vanilla Cokes. That's kind of the best of all three worlds right there. Goodness gracious. I mean, I don't, I don't, now I don't know which one's on top. All right. Last but not least, we're going to do some mixed cocktails with Crown Royal Salty Caramel. Okay, now this first one's going to be called a caramel apple. Now, no, we're not putting apple juice in it. We're actually going to use, and I'm not too fond of this, so I'm going to do it. They originally called for three quarters of an ounce of salted caramel and one ounce of regal apple. So I'm going to do an ounce of both. So let's pull this off here. Ah, I love the smell of salted caramel. Ooh, that's the wrong side. That went for an ounce and a half of each. All right, one ounce of salted caramel. One ounce of crown apple. And then we're going to have half an ounce of lemon juice. We're just going to squeeze this over my hand so I catch the seeds. All right. And then we're going to have four ounces of ginger ale. Ginger ale. Oh, that's ginger beer. Wrong one. Ginger ale. That is not a twist off top. So now we're going to top this off with ginger ale. And this is supposed to be a caramel apple, which sounds very, very good. Should have used that one for my cream soda. Oh, that smells good. Hmm. I think I need more salty caramel. Right now, that sort of tastes like um, I put an ounce of salted caramel and an ounce of the apple. I think you need to reverse, at least I would, the original ingredients and go with more salted caramel, less apple. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add about another half ounce salted caramel. That would take us to an ounce and a half salted caramel one ounce of crown apple. We're getting closer. I like that better. It does kind of give you that, uh, that sour green, what is it, Granny Smith apples, I think, the green apples um, taste. I could still go with more salted caramel. I just love salted caramel. Have I told you I love salted caramel? 
That one's good. That one's really good. That could be... Um, that's top four. Hmm. All right, last but not least, we got one more cocktail here for the salted caramel. What's this one going to be? Drum roll, please. Salted caramel, white Russian. Whee! Now we're going to go with one ounce Crown Royal salted caramel, one ounce coffee liqueur, and four ounces of milk. We're going to get ice in our old-fashioned glass. And then this one ounce of salted caramel. I just can't do that. I want more salted caramel flavor. So I'm going to go with two ounces of salted caramel. And I do that for two reasons. First one, you know, I love salted caramel. The second one, I'm not crazy about cold coffee. So I don't want too much coffee flavor in my drink because I know it's going to be cold. It's on ice. So I'm going to go with one ounce. It's what it says, one ounce of coffee liqueur. So I wanted to make sure I have more salted caramel than I do coffee. One ounce coffee. Liqueur. And then four ounces of milk. I think I may have more than four ounces in this container. Yeah, I've got almost five ounces in there. So we're just going to top this off. Make sure we leave some. Oh, that was perfect. And then we're going to stir. That even looks like a good white Russian, doesn't it? Salted caramel, white Russian. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that tastes good. Just, I, I think that was the right thing to do. Go with more salted caramel than it asked for. Again, it asked for one ounce of salted caramel, one ounce of coffee. Not the way to go. Two ounces of salted caramel, one ounce coffee liqueur. Top it off with milk, four ounces of milk. Or cream, heavy cream, whatever you want. Half and half. Oh, that's good. Okay, so where did we end up? I just showed you eight drinks you can make with five. Well, I showed you ten drinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I just showed you ten drinks you can make with all of these flavored Crown Royal whiskeys, and they are all very, very simple. Let's see if I can get these out here. So you had salted, you had salted caramel white Russian. You had a caramel apple. And then you had a orange cream soda. And we had a vanilla Coke. Ooh. It's going to be a tight fit. And then we had blackberry cobbler. Oh, that was good. Mm. All right, I'm going to have to spread things out. And then we had Crown Blackberry Lemonade. I think that was this one. Yep, because that has the purple one in it. Prior to that, we had Peach Lemonade. That's good, too. Guess we had those out of place. So peach lemonade. 
We had peach tea. Yep. Prior to that, we had crown, apple, and cranberry. Forgot to taste that one again. That's still good. And prior to that, the very first one starting us off, crown, apple, and Sprite, or 7-Up. Boy, I don't know if you can beat that. That's just good. That's still, that's got still, like after making, getting all the way down here, this one, that one's still fizzy, has really good flavor. Wow. So here's what I'm going to say, folks. If you're going to do salty caramel, I'm going to go with this one. This is the salted caramel white Russian. If you're going to do crown vanilla, I'm going to pick the crown vanilla cream soda with orange soda. If you're going to do blackberry, um, blackberry lemonade's good, but in this case, I'm going to have to go for the blackberry cobbler. Just tastes better. Okay, the crown peach, obviously I'm going with peach tea. That just tastes wonderful. And then the crown apple, I'm going for crown uh, apple with the 7-Up. Uh, yeah, 7-Up and Sprite. So there are your winners out of those five. Which one's the best? Wow. Okay, let me taste these one more time. That's good. That's real good. And that's good. All good. Peach tea. Or apple. Yeah, there's your winner. Crown apple and 7-Up. You can't get any simpler. And it's just good. I, something about those flavors. They mesh well. That was the very first one I made. And it still tastes better to me, than all, just barely, than all the rest of these. So folks, get out there and get you some of these flavored crowns. Great to make mixers with. There's tons and tons of recipes. You can even go out to the Crown Royal website and get tons of recipes for however and whatever you want to make. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Be sure to give me your comments down below. I'd appreciate it. Give me the big thumbs up. Like, share with your friends and family. And come back and see us next time here on the Speakeasy. Who knows what I'm going to do. Come back and see me.